what's up there YouTube this is your very own Lycan here your one and only Lycan and today this is my first tutorial so just bear with me and I have like a little of a lips at the moment I don't even know why but it's a uh, 308 over here and if I'm like a little quiet that's because everybody's sleeping obviously because it's 308 a.m. at night so the only reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because I haven't really like notice this uh, like this very less of this tutorial and some like some people that I know don't really know about the color correction burst and like some of them ask questions on how to do that effect so this is just to help out people and some of my friends out with like color correction burst because there's not really that many out there so generally what it looks like is this so I'm just gonna ram preview right here I already have it rammed out so this is what it looks like see right there it does the little the little color correction burst it's like yeah boah with the color correction so it looks really it looks really good when you have it all synced up and everything and this is just a little bit of my uh, 2CE that I'm working on it's called the one and only well it should be the two and only because it's some of the two two best clips I've ever hit because I was extremely lucky and I wish I could record my reaction but this is what it generally looks like you can see like a little explosion of colors well not explosion of colors like a little warp of colors onto the clip so let's dive right into it and yeah, so you want to go make your your composition you want to have it by 1280 by 720 usually that's like the HD range and you want to have it at 59.94 and your duration usually should be longer than like whenever you're editing your duration should be longer than exponentially large because you know you're working on a bunch of effects like Twixer and stuff so let's just make the composition so you want to first you want to get your clip so drag it in here this is the you want to put in your clip or transition it doesn't really matter it's usually used in clips but I'm using it for cinematic this time so let's go there let's look for our music which we are using we we are alive by Stan B I'll provide the music link in the bottom below so Let's get this started. So first things first, you want to duplicate your clip by pressing Control D, and it'll duplicate your clip like that, as you just seen right here. And next, you want to first, you know, next you want to either put your color correction or just do a burst for like no apparent reason. Sometimes you could just use uh, another clip for the CC lens for a transition, but it's usually used for color correction burst because. It looks it looks best for the the episode montage or team tosh whatever you're making. So I am just gonna paste in my color correction, my sexy color correction. And the only reason I paste it in is because both looks for some reason is like kind of tweaky on me at the moment. So you see like how it's there's like no burst at the moment. So you want to go in here, or if you like don't have this little tab or you can't see it or use it. Uh, you could go into effects, go into distort, and see the CC lens should be up from over here. Then that's basically it. So I'm just going to click on that. And then you see like a little bubble. Little bubble. And the way you morph this little bubble is using this this number over here on size and by messing around with it. At zero, obviously, there's nothing. At 500, it's completely flat. I don't know why they make it so specific all the way to 500 but I'm guessing they only did that so you could see this little warping on the sides you could like pretend you can make like a little video of being in a pokeball so first we want to do put this at zero and next we want to go look in our our song for like a for the bass drop because I'm using dubstep and it's taking a while for it to load up so let's go see real quick right here it should pop up and there you go so let's look for the little bass drop. So it's right here. You can tell it because like the the waveform is like really small. Then it goes ex really big. Uh, like the audio levels. There you go. That's what it's called. The audio levels are really low. Then goes really loud. So we should put our clips right there. Uh, I really. Uh, it's easier to just like if you're making a little OC and you just want to make it in this general area you want to just um, split it and the little hotkeys for that is control shift D and the only reason I'm not 
splitting it is because Control Shift D is a hotkey apparently on Camtasia that I didn't even know for the tools and such. So I'll show you right here. It makes this awkward little tool. I don't even know why. So I'm just gonna get out of that. So I need to fix that later on next time I use it. So I'm just going to drag this all the way to the end. Actually, let's farther this out a little bit. Drag this all the way to the end. There we go. Actually, let's make it like around here because I think right here looks best. Let's see. Oh, yeah, right. Mm, let's just drag it out a little bit. Yeah, right there. This should be fine. Uh, I'm not really. Uh, I'm not really gonna ram preview that part, so I'm just gonna make it very simple. But I think it'll look better over here. So just gonna fix my work area. Make my the end of my work area over here. You just want to press N for. If you want to know how to do that, uh, the beginning bracket is just B. So see, it just moves. You just press B, and that's it. So what next is you want to put your keyframe at the base drop itself. So you want to put it at the highest point. So I guess on mine it's like right here, but for yours it might be different. So just look for the highest point. So go back to where you put CC lens on. You want a keyframe, then go out. I want to say 15 to 20 frames is like your max, depending on how long you want to see, uh, how long like you want the CC lens to last. So I want mine to last up to let's see 15 frames. So we want to go up to 15, 14, let's say. So right there. Oh, I forgot. No, actually, I didn't forget. Where's my keyframes, though? Oh, right there. Uh, if you want to find your keyframes, just press U. This goes for all keyframes. So if you have like a hundred effects keyframe, just press U, and you can see all of them. So what next is you want to type in 500 or anything less. Um, I prefer 500 because it makes the video completely flat. As you can see right there, like there's no warping on the sides. But if you have it farther, like in 200 or so somewhere, you can see like warping. And it's all like all pokeballish, so we're gonna fix this all the way to 500. So that's basically it right there. Actually, we'll make this or make our work area smaller. So B and N. Actually, make this a little bit bigger. Then ramp preview it. Uh, I have mine on zero skips and resolution half because I like my quality to be nice, so I can actually see what it generally looks like it when I render. But the zero skips is so it doesn't really look as jumpy to me when I'm making the effect and for some reason I don't this I think I actually made it a little bit too far inside the the song itself so you can see it did the little explosion so let's check it out real quick oh uh, see it does it right there explosion so let's go back to it this is generally um, a fast transition with color corrections it's a burst of colors so no, by the word burst, you want it to be like fast, and if you want to make it a little bit more noticeable, you can make it last a little longer, but don't make it too long where you see it for like a whole six hours because it looks really awkward on the episode or montage or whatever you're working on when you're making it. So just re ram re preview it, and as you can see, it lasts a little bit longer. You can notice it. So let me stop that before you guys get annoyed. But if you do like really long on the like very far on the keyframes it will look really awkward and it'll look like sort of like this see and it lasts on there like the whole entire time and it looks really awkward so that's basically it uh, thank you guys for watching and if you guys have any other tutor tutorials you want, want me to do just leave a comment and I'll get back with you guys so later